when we got Dunbar and Big Joe. You'll get to meet them. And really brought my attention to doing something a little bit different. Today we wanted to test and see how the bison responded. Me and Marissa don't get to do this that often. Hey guys, Dusty Baker across Timbers Bison. Welcome back to the channel. Check out Mr. Big Joe here. We're doing a little pasture rotation. I've locked him up here by our barn and grazed down. Be my lawnmowers for a little bit here grazing this paddock down. Got the princess over there, Eleanor, but I'm doing something a little different today. Got a guest today. We've got a, a good local friend, a guy I went to high school with, played football with named Mark. Mark is a good friend and he's been coming over helping us with Cora. Mark got us a hookup to get Cora actually. And then um, he came over, he's helped us trim her hooves, he's helped us work her and her get used to us and help me basically, the guy who doesn't know anything about raising horses, to help Marissa and I get her taken care of. Well, he's got his trailer over here and it's uh, loaded down with three horses. And so we're gonna do something a little different. Gonna do a little bit different pasture rotation today. We're gonna bring you guys along on it. Hope you're ready. Horses and bison back together. I'm gonna try to take her with us. Let's go check. We'll just go out there and ride real quick and let y'all kind of get a feel yeah, for it. Get, then you'll ride Red. Red? Yeah. Red's Marks. He's named after Red Butler. Okay. But Megan. Okay, but I'm just telling you. So, so you should be good. Just brush, just push everything with the green of the hair the way his hair goes. And get as rough as you want. He likes it. Like, you know, he'll just stick his nose out and he'll be like, oh. He's so kind of cute. Yeah. Hey, horses are like dogs. The bigger they get, the more puppy dogs they are. Okay. Well, here, the heat plays with me. This is the one I rode on. Yeah. Mark suckered me into this stuff. Now look where we are. <laughs> Got one. Off your own. Hey, Rhett. Good to see you again, buddy. Mose. All right, he's pretty. Been chasing ladies. We understand about that right now, don't we? Yeah, I know. We got Dunbar and Big Joe. Maybe you'll get to meet them. some friends today. Excited. Better be hate. Yeah. Corey, you better be nice. This is your first time out and about, girl. Okay. Figure it out, I guess. Down there. <laughs> Chickens are back the line. 
So I'll stand here and gate cut. Let's go down there. Yeah, they'll ease out. I'm just curious what they're gonna do. We're gonna put your phone up, Marissa. Could get interesting. <laughs> Mark. Here. Hey, Rhett. Well, I don't mind holding it. I got gotcha. you. No, they'll they want to come out. Brett's more scared of the water tub. <laughs> Are they really? Woo, come on. Before we headed out to the pasture with the horses, I had to do a little bit of gate cutting. We had brought the Big Joe herd up a couple of days ago to try to catch the calves that Dunbar let out when he showed up at the Ponderosa and we had all those issues of getting Dunbar to the hoss herd. I really wanted to separate those calves, so I did the best I could at gate cutting, but that's not always the easiest way to do it. So we let the Big Joe herd out and I gate cut at the same time and they headed out to pasture three. Eleanor got stuck behind, so Mark and I tried to get Eleanor to go out the main gate and follow the rest of the herd. And she eventually did. So now we can finally get to ride. Here's one of our creek crossings that goes straight into the burn unit. We slowed down and did a little training with Cora on creek crossing. Took a couple times and she was good to go. Yeah, they like that shade. Some of them. Just lean back and just follow the trail. Let the horse go down at their own speed to be fine. He's like, I don't want to go. Now look, they're coming over here. I've right away, kind of like teasing them, you know? Yeah. If they get curious, they walk off. Once we reached the Dunbar and Haas herd, I think that we scared them a little bit. Yeah. But after that, they were pretty curious after we were riding through their pasture. One of the main reasons that we got Cora is we wanted to 
start using a different approach to rounding up bison or moving them and rotating them pastures. Mark and I had been chatting for a while and after going out and riding horses with him and working his cattle, the way of using a horse versus an ATV and really brought my attention to doing something a little bit different and trying at the Ponderosa. Today we wanted to test and see how the bison responded to the horses since this is the first time they've ever been in the same pasture together. Plus, me and Marissa don't get to do this that often and it's been a while for the both of us to ride some horses. So we also took Cora out with us to get her a little test run. The idea of using horses instead of an ATV is something that we may try to do in the future and so as Cora gets older, we're going to keep training her, and hopefully someday, maybe we can use Cora to round up the bison, move them pastures, or use her in different ways around the Ponderosa. It's a quieter and low-stress way to check your animals, or move them pastures. They're cute, aren't they? Uh, um, I don't see her. You survive? Survive. Knocked Rhett? Yeah, he was good. This is this is not Rhett, but Rhett's on the other side. It's so much darker than his life. He did good today. Thanks, buddy. It's a good horse. Do you hear Gaucho? He's like, oh, 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 oh. yeah. Good guy, Cora. Did you have fun? Did you have fun? Yes, yes, yes. She's like, just feed me. Just feed me now. Yeah, she did a good job, but I think she did a really good job of uh, for the first time. So I'm glad uh, Mark brought his horses over, brought some horses over and uh, for her first time to get out there and uh, we'll keep doing that. She needs it, I think that was good for her, but Mark had a lot of good positive things to say about her. He's, he spends a lot of time around horses, unlike us besides just Cora here. So, um, but uh, glad uh, he could give us some good pointers and stuff, but he said she did really good. So, job Cora. Well, someday, Little girl right here will be big enough to go out there and hang out with the bison. Kind of, the bison responded pretty good. They didn't really run away from us. They didn't freak out. As we started kind of getting away from them, they were interested in us actually, which was funny. But um, I was kind of anxious to see how they would react. And I thought they handled it well. But the idea is, so uh, hopefully someday, instead of a, using an ATV or something, Marissa and I can hop on some horses right here and uh round them up move pastures do all sorts of stuff out here you got a little bit of space to do it i think it'd be fun fun and different way to do it so but uh for sure anyways i want to thank mark for coming out he's helped us a bunch with Cora here and done a great job and his experience with horse horses has helped us tremendously and that's what he does for a living now and uh you know it's just a lifestyle too it's a it's a fun lifestyle it's part of the western way of life and I haven't raced horses my whole life, and I know Marissa hasn't either, so this will be a, a great project for not only us, but Brooks as well, and hopefully Brooks will be riding her someday. Thank you guys for watching us. We'll see you soon. Keep Boston Ranching.